Ahoy, friends. It's me, Dave Landau. After a long night on stage, I like to kick back with a captain's hat and a fine cigar and watch the Dennis and Andy show. These guys are huge nerds, but they're the kind that you actually want to hang out with. Enjoy them. I do. Happy freaking New Year, everybody. It is 2023. Mind blown. Because you and I are both, until the end of this year, when our birthdays fall, 53. In 2023. I know. Very sad. Very Nifty. sad. So, we, we looking pretty. everybody... Had a great Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <clears throat> I've been under the weather, so I've gotten laid up with the flu slash COVID, so I'm finally recuperating. We've watched some movies, and it is time for us to make our presence felt once again. That's right. Dennis has a little case of the Snifflies, and he's finally man enough to show his face. And I offered to come over to Andy's house, and he barricaded it with a horde of zombies and said, none shall enter. No, I don't need your nastiness in here. Anyhow, so the first, the movie, I shouldn't say first, because we do have two movies, but we're doing two different streams here, because we want to keep these nice and tight for you to digest quickly and move on throughout your busy day. So, first movie up, speaking of digesting is The Menu. Uh, the Menu stars uh, Ray Fiennes, or is it Ralph? It's not Ralph, it's Ray. It, it's it's Ralph, but everybody calls him, it's Ray Fiennes. That's what everybody Ray calls Fiennes. him, but it's Ralph Fiennes. And it stars, uh, I, God, I always mess, what's the girl's name? I always mess, Anna, Anna Taylor, Taylor Joy. Anna Taylor Joy. But it's really about a young couple that travels to a remote exclusive island to eat at this very exclusive restaurant mm -hmm. where the chef, Ray, has prepared a lavish menu, but with some surprising and shocking twists. The shocking twist for me was after I finished watching it, and I believe it was about two hours long, uh, I felt sick because uh, we'll get into the review, but my two word review is it sucks. So that is my two-word review. What is your two-word review, Dennis? You're wrong. You're insane. Now Not at all. we are saving. We literally after I he him and his daughter went to see it last week. I couldn't make it. So after the movie, he he gave me a thumbs up and a messenger. So I watched it the next day. I was able to fit it in the next day and watch it. Go see it. Whatever. And I wrote him as soon as it was over, and I said, are you freaking punking me again? Because he punked me and said I should watch Blonde on Netflix, that knowing it sucked, 
And when I got done with Blonde, which was three hours long, I was like, dude, that was awful. I don't know what you're talking about. Then he just started laughing. So I thought he was punking me because I'll be honest. I thought the menu was trash. And I can wow. tell you why. How should we do this? Should I say why it's trash? Or how yeah, do you want well, to do it? Well, how about, how about this? You tell me why you didn't like it. And then I'll tell you all the reasons that you're wrong and why it was probably my second favorite movie of the entire year. What was your first favorite movie then? Maverick. Hands down. Oh, yeah. Maverick. Okay. We agree with that. Maverick. Okay. okay. But now, now tell me why you hated it because... Well, just tell me why you hated it. Okay, so it started off, like Dennis said, these, these uh, I don't know how many groups of people there were, because you had to be at least a group of two. You couldn't be by yourself, but there was a group of three yep. uh, guys at a table. So it starts with, uh, I don't remember the actor's name, the guy that played the Beast in the X-Men films. and Nicholas Holt. Nicholas Holt, thank you. And he is going to this, restaurant on this island it's like twelve thousand dollars a person i believe 1250 bucks a head which is a deal wait it's only 1250 i thought it was twelve thousand twelve hundred and fifty uh dollars a head but that includes the boat ride over an exclusive tour of everything because they grow no that's a deal food hey that's really not that 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 much money no 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 i mean seriously if people the, the type of people that went to that bought the ticket for this in the movie are literally the type that go to a high end restaurant and their bill is twelve hundred dollars anyhow. So not a lot. So, so anyhow, so break, well, let's break it into some of the groups so that they, they'll know. So you've got Nicholas Holden, Anna. He brings her along. You find out that his girlfriend broke up with him. So he winds up acquiring her services to come to this meal with her. Let's put it that way. That's couple number one. Um, and then you've got Judith Light and Reed Burney, which are husband and wife, apparently for a long time. They're another couple. You have these three hotshot business executives, um, which are all at a table. They all know each other. It looks like they're friends. They're another one. Um, you have... Um, John um, Leguizamo. Oh, I'll never pronounce John it. Leguizamo. Yep, and his assistant. Um, they are a group. And there's the food critic. So there's a very popular, powerful food critic, and she brings along her assistant, which is a yes man, and then that's a group. And so. I thought the movie was slow. I thought it was boring. I didn't care about any of the characters. Uh, wait, are we doing spoilers or no? Oh, no, this is full-blown spoilers. It's been out long enough, and there, there's okay. too much to talk about. We I didn't care about the characters. So, big twist, everybody dies except for Ann Taylor-Joy's uh, character. Um so I didn't give a shit when they all died. And when I say everybody dies, we're talking Ray Fines. We're talking his his crew of chefs that he has working for him. Whole place. Um, I thought that was stupid. You know, oh, Ray gets them all there. He The business, he didn't start the business. He had a basically a backer, this, this guy, the money guy, who he takes out the money guy. And that's the first shock. Oh, everybody's like, what? That's so-and-so, the money guy. And he kills him. And then he drops the bomb that everybody's dying tonight. And I'm just like, why? Why is everybody dying? Who cares? I don't like these people. Uh, the only character I did like, Anna Taylor-Joy, got away. And it wasn't an escape. I think. I mean, I think that the most interesting part of the movie for me was... And this is what I, this is my theory. You can tell me if you agree. The psychological mind f she basically did on Ray Fines, the head chef, to to for him to let her go. Wow, I I don't think you grasped a single point of this movie. Literally everything you said was wrong. Literally, it's boring. Not no, wrong. Number one, it's an hour and forty seven minutes long. 
Oh, um, it only felt like two hours. I loved every single character <clears throat> in this movie. So you, we, well, I also have to add mother was off in the corner. So there's a couple of oh, little yeah. things that I really want to, I wanted more of. All right. So they start serving these meals and it's everything is a big story. So each one has a name and then they very nicely put up what the name of the dish is and the menu items and right. everything below it. The and yep. it's funny when you read them, everything's got humor to it. I mean, it was, everything was funny in this. Um, but each, each uh, course is a story in of itself. The stories were actually really good. The first one was very nice, and this has a story. The second one had more story, but it was all about tortillas. And they were talking about there was the bread, the breadless bread, where they were basically only serving the condiments. And you're like, right. well, this is dumb. <clears throat> and, of course, Nicholas Holt's character is like, oh, my God, this is the most amazing thing in the world. He's eating up everything. He is a yeah, he's a lord. He's a big he's one of those dumbass foodies. Every single person that was invited was so exclusive in upper echelon. Um Nicholas Holt, my daughter was sitting there as soon as he was on the screen, he needs to die fast. He is so pretentious and so out oh, there. Yeah. And it was great because I laughed and totally agreed with her. But each storyline brought more than the next chef came out. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, the tortillas came out. What was on the tortillas, Andy? Printed on, and they can do this now, printed on the tortillas were images of the specific person that the tortillas were served to. And generally, it it was something that person did they shouldn't have done. So for Nicholas Holt's character, they specifically said you cannot photograph any of the food. And he was he did that in the beginning when they first sat down. He was trying to be sly, which I mean, how stupid is the guy? He didn't even put his phone on vibrate. Anybody with a, a cell phone, when you take a picture, it makes a stupid noise like an old school camera. But if you put it on a vibrate, it makes no noise. Well, dumbass isn't even smart enough to do that. So his tortilla has a shot of him taking pictures. And then, so basically, everybody kind of gets outed for some type of douchery that they've done. Correct? Yes. So, so the three guys, they were embezzling. So there's yes. spreadsheets of money that they've embezzled. The uh, Judith Light's husband, his tortilla is him doing something inappropriate with uh, uh, an, another lady. She not sexual. He's basically caught at a restaurant with another woman. So yes, something which eventually will right. get will get brought up. So each tortilla is specific in there, but then this this is the first flag that goes up. What is wrong? What? How did you get this? What is this all about? And then um, John's. Um, the movie star, he's a movie star, apparently a very famous one. And this is his tortilla is one of his movies. And he's like, OK, that's one of my movies. Right. And, and you're trying to figure out why. Well, as the plot thickens, you know, then they're like, um, hey, we really want bread. And, she, and they ask the waitress, you know, uh, could you really give us bread? She's like, no. We don't want to name drop, but we're Doug's friends. And if you don't give us bread, no. Then we find out Doug was the investor on the island. And then right. Ray starts and the next one starts telling him the story about how the investor works and how the investor's not a good person at all. And then you see him with angel wings and he's being lowered. He's all tied up with angel wings being lowered and they wind up killing him out in, in the lake slash ocean. <laughs> yeah, they drown him. Yeah. And they're like, what? The uh, husband gets up and says, we're out of here. We're not dealing with this. The they're cheating like, husband. Uh, no, you're not. And they basically chop off his finger with the wedding ring and she winds up giving it to him. So we know that everything is really going sideways here. What, what I find really interesting is 
And of course, through all of this, Nicholas Holt's like, oh, oh my God, this is so amazing. It's Yeah, I mean, it's not even phasing the guy. He's like, just bring out more food. I don't care about, oh, it's just part of the show, whatever, blah, blah, blah. He's, he's you know. Anna Taylor-Joy is the reason we're there because we as the average audience identify with everything she sees, says, and does. And she's like, I want the hell off this island right now. I'm getting off. I don't belong here. Blah, 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 blah. Ray Fine winds up bringing him uh, or her into, and they have multiple conversations. You shouldn't be here. This is tailored specifically to the group of guests that were supposed right. to be here. And we start finding out, and this is where another thing I think you missed, this isn't her mind screwing him. This is a chess game because in his mind, he's not a mean guy. He's out to do it. And as a creator, I think maybe you would appre- you would have appreciated it. He is such a perfectionist at his craft, but he has lost all of the joy of creating something for the public. Right. So he has outdone himself. He can create anything he wants. But there's no joy, happiness, or love behind any of it anymore. He just makes it. People criticize him for it. Some people don't come in. So he's even like you. The reason why everybody's going to die here tonight. The reason you, and he goes to Nicholas Holt. He's a foodie. He, he knows everything about food. So they even release all of the people. So tell him about the chase. Well, they don't release all the people. They release the men. Men. Right. So they everybody goes outside and and Ray Fines basically is like, okay, all the men, you can run, get away, you get a 45 second head start, and then, you know, he's going to have the male chefs under him chase the men down. Um, so they all scatter except for uh, Nicholas Holt. He's just standing there because he doesn't want to leave. And Ray Fiennes is like, no, you too. I mean, you don't have a choice. Start running. Um, so they all run. So, you know, a couple of them or one of them, one of the three guys that's embezzling makes it to the water to like try and get into a boat and everything. And, you know, all these chefs are in pretty good shape. So they run them down and they, they end up bringing all the men back, you know. Um, it was just, I guess it was a nice, Hey, if you can get away, you can get away and you're not going to die, but you knew nobody was getting away. Oh yeah. Nobody got away. No, nobody was getting away. But the last one who was caught, it was funny. Nicholas Holt didn't just not run away. He ran around to the side of the building. The women were all taken back in and served another course. And there's right. Nicholas Holt up on the window, staring at him going, Oh my God, look at all that food. They're getting food we're not getting. And that was his concern. Not about his life, but about right. the food that the women were eating. Well, he had no it. concern. He had no concern for Anna Taylor Joy, obviously. Oh, oh, he God. just had to bring he had he paid for two tickets. He had to bring somebody. So And we find out through through all of it that um it winds up she is either an escort or a call girl or something. Yeah. So it's fine. She's a whore, Dennis. Well, not necessarily because they didn't specifically say that uh, in it. She could just be a call girl. But either way, she, that's why he brought her to the island. But he had full knowledge because he had been communicating with the chef that they were all going to die. So he right. knowingly, Nicholas Holt, Brought this date on knowing that she would die with him on the island. And this idiot is so into it. He knows he's going there for basically his last meal. Unless he thought, no, that's just got to be a bunch of shit. But I don't think he did. I think he knew for a fact he was going there and going to die. Yes. The chef told him that and he full well. And eventually the chef asked him. So it's his turn to shine. It's his menu. And, you know, they were um, like, Tyler, come on up here. You, you're such a foodie. You know everything. And he's like, and they walk up there. They give him a chef's coat, Hawthorns, and he even, I'll even personalize it for you. Writes Tyler's name on there. Now he goes, 
make us something, bedazzle us, basically. So, and he goes, we have everything you want, so you just tell us. Uh, I, I want some leek. Okay, we've got leek. I want some scallops. We got some scallops. And I need lamb. Oh, lamb. And then butter. Okay. So then, but he didn't know what he was making. He, he was sweating it. He he was clueless. He knows and he can taste stuff. And then he starts cutting. And it is the worst cut job ever. And the chef actually mocks him. And he goes, wow, there's some culinary techniques I've never seen before. Hmm. You know, and it's just funny. So you can see that he's underdoing the lamb and everything. And he goes, the chef's like, are you sure it's done? I'm sure. And he's tasting it. And he's like, hmm. This is 100% terrible. And he's like, what? What?" And he's sweating. And he was a foodie, but he couldn't cut it. He he doesn't have any. Well, yeah, skill. I mean, just because you're a foodie doesn't mean you can cut. Ah. But then Ray finds is like, you know, come here, get close. And he whispers in his ear. And you don't know what he says, but um, Tyler there basically backs away, you know, disgruntled and stuff and just walks away at a camera, you know, obviously out of the kitchen into a different room. You don't know where he's going. And, you know, you find out a few minutes later, he hung himself. So whatever the chef said was, I mean, he knew he was going to die regardless. So I guess he just, you know, the chef just, whatever he said, was so bad that the dude's like, I should just hang myself instead of waiting for the chef's mate master plan. Yep. And later you see when Anna, she's allowed to go get a barrel that was not brought here. And of course, Hung Chow, she plays um, Elsa, the main server girl, the, the right hand girl, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ray Fine's characters, you know, whenever they clap, you know, Everybody stops. Yes, chef. So everybody's got this down. So in this entire scheme, he's going to wind up killing the entire group that came. And you find out why he winds up killing the entire chef's group because they're all in on it and they're prepared to die. And it was just it really was masterful because it becomes a chess match between Anna Taylor Joy, who's a service industry person. And she, you're either one of them, as he puts it, or you're one of us, a server. And at first, she's a server. So he's going to allow her to help and become a part of it and join them. And then she tries to escape and go out. She calls the Coast Guard. She gets into the chef's house because everybody else lives in a dormitory. And on the wall, you can see... Some of his old stuff, including his very first job, flipping burgers at like Happy Joe's or whatever burger place. I don't remember how he's, but he was flipping it with the big smile employee of the month. So there was a point in time where she realizes he loved his job, but all of that has been pulled out of it because nobody appreciates the work that he does. So he goes to the husband and wife. You've been here how many times? And he's like, oh, I don't know, seven. He goes, 11. Name me one thing that you ate last time that you were here. And, and she's like, um, cod? No, halibut. And then, of course, name me any other thing that you've had. They couldn't. They've been there 11 times at $1,250 a head times two. And they can't even mention one single dish that they did. They don't appreciate the chef for what? It's like them not appreciating a comic book artist. Oh, stop. It is. It's the same thing. And I'm going to kill them artist. all because they don't appreciate. They don't appreciate me. <laughs> That's why they died. But here, there is so much black satire comedy in this. My favorite was John's, though. When the movie star gets up there and he's like, whoa, 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 I just like food. You know, I'm kind of a foodie, but I I didn't ruin your life like the critic did. I didn't steal from you like these guys. What did I do to you? 
And he goes, I have one sacred day a week, and that's a Sunday. And I had one Sunday off, and I chose to go see your movie. And your movie was so terrible. It destroyed my entire day, and you took that time away from me that I can never get back. He's like, what? I made a bad movie? And then his assistant's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What about me? I'm not any of these people. And I, and she, go, he, she goes, I went to school. What, are, are you a foodie? Are you one of these elites? I'm not an elite. I work for a living. Did you have student debt? Well, no. Where did you go to college? Brown University. You're dying too. Because she didn't have student debt and it was awesome. But you find out she also wasn't good because she was embezzled from his character. And right. he knew the entire And she time. went to Brown, which is a pretty pricey school, and she didn't have student debt and blah, blah, blah. Yes. So they all had their reasons, the embezzlers. It, it, it was just fantastic from start to end. The way she winds up escaping and how she winds up, you know, Getting this boat when they call in, she calls in the ghost coast guard from the short rave radio. And you still think she's going to die. She's going to die. Now he's talking about, I've talked to Dennis about this. You got to stop using the pronouns after a while and reestablish who you're talking about. He's talking about Anna Taylor Joy's character and how she does escape because she's the only one that lives. So I'll, I'll tell this part of the story. Okay. She she gets an idea and she claps like the chef does. And when she does, all the chefs come to attention and even Ray Fines. And basically Ray Fines is like, what? And she says that they can, she basically says, you guys can make anything. He's like, yeah, we have everything. So she orders a cheeseburger. She's like, she wants to send her food back. That was the key. Oh, that's right. She wants to send her food back and get something else. And she orders a cheeseburger. So he makes the best damn. And it wasn't just a single. It was a double. I caught that. He made her this big ass double cheeseburger with fries with fries and served it to her. And she took a bite out of it. And it was she said it was fantastic. Whatever she said, it was great. Funny thing, she couldn't finish it. So she got it to go box and they bagged it up for her, a doggy bag for her. And he let her go. So there's a little more to it than that. So he said, she, he goes, what do you mean? You didn't appreciate it. She goes, I'm still hungry. And I'm, you're well, supposed to serve all this food. And this food's supposed to have joy and be made with love. And there's none of that here. She goes, this is basically soulless food that you're serving that it may be good, but there, there's no soul. Right. I want something that's going to make me enjoy it. And he smirks. And then she, he goes, what? The cheeseburger. Because she went back to the very first time he ever smiled that she saw at his first job. Right. Back when he loved his craft and he made it and she goes, how much? He goes, nine ninety five, And that includes tips because everything's included here at Hawthorne's. And then she winds up, says, I can't finish it. Can I get it to go? And she goes, I'll pay for it. And she puts a $10 bill down on the tailor. Yep. He realizes that. She not only understands what his plight was, you know, he does let her go because of that. She understood. So it was a chess match between them until one of them could figure out what was going on. And she did. She allows him or he, the chef allows Anna Taylor Joy's character, uh, Margo, to leave. And she takes off in the boat. She stops in the middle, eats her cheeseburger, and then watches the place turn into a giant s'more. Right. The, yeah, without ruining everything, it's interesting to see how Ray Fiennes decides to kill everybody, including his himself and his staff. And, uh, and that's it. The movie ends with her on the boat eating the cheeseburger, 
watching the place go up in flames. Uh, and, uh, and that's when I texted Dennis and said, this is a joke, right? This is, this had so many nuances and little twists and turns and things that you want. Um, there were so many parts. We were laughing out loud. There's so much comedy in this. Um, it was, it was kind of amazing. Um, yeah, I don't see the tons of comedy in it. Let's give it our ratings. You go uh, for this is this is obviously one. You know, a lot of times we agree, and our ratings are just very close. That is not going to be the case with this one. So this is unfortunately one of the ones. It's uh, it's it's two guys going going against each other on it. So you're going to have to watch it for yourself, unless you just trust me, which you should. Because I am the baby new year and uh, I bring joy and tidings in the baby new year in the new year. So I am going to give it a uh, just a flat out five straight up five right in the middle. Wow. Um, I am going to give it that's out of 10 for people watching. That's five out of 10. Yes. What are you doing? Um, I'm giving it a 9.2. Oh my God! Are you being paid by this company? What? Not the? at all. Matter Is this fact, because you actually I had to pay? Joking when I said if it wasn't for Maverick, this would have been my favorite movie. Of Is the this year. because you actually had to buy your own ticket, so you've got to make yourself feel good about spending the money? Not at all. I am telling you, I have now since talked to quite a few people who have seen it. And it ranks in everybody's top three movies, except for Andy's for the year. So I'm it must, it they must be all Packers fans. I am telling you to go out and watch it. Leave your comments below with your grade and see which one of us you guys side with. But for shits and giggles, I'm pulling up Rotten Tomatoes because I'm always curious. Yep. Uh, tomato meter is at 89% with the audience score of 76%. So if you take a five and a nine... That's 14 divided by two. The two of us is seven, 70%. Bang, baby. It's right in the middle. And according to the IMDb rating, it's getting a 7.5. So there you go, guys. If you want to go see the menu, go check it out. Let us know what you think in the comments. We will have another review to you guys shortly. Until then... Guys, check out Cordrath, The Reckoning. It is the campaign Dennis and I are both working on, and it's our newest project. We think you're going to love it. There's a link in the description below. You can go to Cordrath.com as well to read the first eight pages of the story. Uh, it's not just a story. It's a game that can be played, role-playing game. Go check it out. Uh, we're very proud of this campaign. I mean, just, oh, there's the cover. That's a little more saturated because it's on the screen the way it is. We've got the wraparound virgin cover uh, that you can get. There's five different cover options. There's a sick-ass metal AF, as people tell us, T-shirt you can get with my art. The Budroot variant cover you can get. The Budroot variant cover on a T-shirt as well. So please go check out Cordrath. Of course, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss us. And uh, we will catch you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody. Live long. Badass.